by far the most important thing that needs to be done is that we need to make the medical community aware that Chagas disease is prevalent in the United States among our Latin American immigrant population. Uh, it is no longer an exotic disease. It is here. We need to be aware of it. We need to be thinking about it when we see patients. I think we need to have a campaign for those people who are from areas that are at risk for Chagas disease, that they get themselves in to be tested. If you catch the disease early and treat, you prevent the onset of all the complications of the disease. What happens with Chagas that's quite apparent is it is now at least double in size and it's not squeezing effectively. When the heart doesn't squeeze, blood doesn't get through the heart, everything backfills um, and you go into heart failure. Chagas heart failure is treated very, very aggressively. We automatically put in defibrillators in our patients with Chagas cardiomyopathy in addition to aggressive medical therapy. Nifurtimox, which we have access to in the United States, is a three-month course and the side effect profile is, is pretty abysmal. It's like giving chemotherapy. Um, so major, major side effects from nausea, vomiting, memory loss, uh, you develop neuropathies, uh, and the list goes on. And we need to find a new drug.